Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariah Faith, and today we are gonna be talking about financial stewardship. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, and as always, leave a comment down below. So let's get started. The second objective I wanna talk about is providing and protecting your family. Now, while I don't think it requires too much elaboration and I won't get too much into it because I think it should be a given, but for the sake of the one who may be struggling right now, let me remind you and encourage you that your money first provides and protects your family. Other than paying your bills, which you would be doing whether you had a family or not, other than paying your bills, you also provide food, you provide shelter, and you provide opportunities for your family. And what I wanna talk about is those opportunities. Your money can help your family grow as individuals and as a group. Your money funds group activities. Now you don't have to go to Disney World, but you can go to the library. You can make gingerbread houses. You can go to a local children's museum when they offer a discount. Be resourceful about it, but your money can help your family grow. Provide enrichment opportunities for your children. Buy them an instrument and have them take lessons. Put them in sports like cheerleading or basketball or football, or put them in art lessons and, and theater. Get resourceful and be on the lookout for those types of opportunities so that you can help your family grow. The third objective, help those in need. If you're not aware of a church or an organization that is putting their money towards helping those who are less fortunate than yourself, don't think that you're off the hook. Generally, your purpose is going to tie into helping other people anyway, but you can always help one person at a time and that's not insignificant. Everything you do is significant. Every step that you take is significant. Helping one person is significant. Maybe you're going grocery shopping. Instead of buying one ham, take an extra $20 and buy two hams and then give one to a family who could use the extra boost. They don't have to be impoverished, but maybe they could just use the extra help. Maybe you have two crock pots. Go ahead and give one away. Acts chapter four, verse 32 to 34. All the believers were one in heart and mind. No one claimed that any of their possessions was their own, but they shared everything they had. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in them all that there were no needy persons among them. From time to time, those who owned land or houses sold them, bought the money from the sales and put it at the apostles' feet. And it was distributed to anyone who had need. Galatians 2.10 is right before Paul and Barnabas go on their missionary journey. And it says that Peter gave them instruction. And the only instruction he gave them was this. They only asked us to remember the poor, the very thing I was eager to do. So if we know that the apostles gave to those in need, that that's where they put their money towards, and we know that this was one of the biggest instructions that was given to them, then we know that one of the purposes our money must serve is to help those in need. And so if you don't know of a church or, or an organization that is actively giving to those in need, then you can give some of your money to those in need, whether it be a crock pot or whether it be a ham or whether it be $10 or $100 to help pay off a bill, whatever it is, you can make a difference. Your money can help those who need help. The last scripture I wanna give you for this purpose is Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 through 40. And this is Christ speaking. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. God loves a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver purposes in their heart what to give and prepares it in advance. And that's what we're talking about today planning and preparing. Have a plan with your money and make sure it's ready when it's time to give. Secondly, a cheerful giver does not give out of pressure, whether that be internal or external pressure. How do you know if you're giving out of pressure? It's simple. 
If you're giving out of fear of a negative consequence, out of guilt or manipulation, then that is pressure. And you don't need to give in that type of condition. A cheerful giver gives because God loves it and we live to please him. Lastly, a cheerful giver gives because the needs of our brothers and sisters will be met. And lastly, because God will get the glory from your giving. The last purpose I wanna talk about is securing the next generation. Proverbs 13 verse 22 says, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. We see people leaving the next generation an inheritance all the time, and we want to be part of that. So invest in your children's education, invest in their opportunities like we discussed before. Teach them how to be entrepreneurs, work with their hands so they can make their own money and not rely on somebody else's vision. Get them a Roth account and invest so that you can leave something behind for them. And if you can't do that, at the very least, pay off your debts so they don't inherit your debt. Now you may or may not be able to do everything that I just mentioned, but a good rule of thumb that my dad taught me is to give my children a better starting point than what I had. In the links below, I have some financial tools that you can use for free. So be sure to check them out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And as always, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.